Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm David Baker, your Phoenix Realtor. Today, I wanna to touch about what you can do to make your offer stronger, something that'll make it stand out and some strategies that are proven to work uh, in this crazy seller market that we're experiencing right now here in the Phoenix area. Please go ahead and leave a comment, go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget, hit that little bell, that way you're notified every time I put up a new video. So first off, let's just talk about what can be done to make your offer a little bit stronger. The first two tips are actually proven tips that work, but it's something that your realtor is going to have to do. One, find out what the seller's motivation is. Sometimes, of course, it's just getting top dollar, but other times it's not just about that. Maybe they need to be able to lease a property back for a short period of time. Maybe uh, they want a quick close of escrow. So these are some things that your listing, I mean, your buyer agent can find out for you to try to make your uh, offer a little bit more enticing to them. So you can put those items in there. Second thing is when presenting an offer, something that your agent can do is to put his track record maybe your lender's track record so that you know, hey, this is a strong offer and we've got the backing of somebody that's been in the real estate industry for you know, 15, 16 years plus like myself, or maybe the lenders that I work with that have been completing deals you know, 99% of the time and have been in the industry for over 15 years. Things of this nature make a, a seller feel a little bit fuzzier that the deal is gonna be able to get done. Now, what can you as a buyer do to make your offer a little stronger? Something that'll make it stand out versus others. So first off, I'd tell you, make your offer as strong as possible on the onset. You know, there's nothing in the rule book that says that they need to give you a counter offer. There's nothing in it that says that they have to give multiple counters. Chances are, if you make a really good offer to begin with, Yours is going to stand out and they may just flat out accept it right then and there. I tell my clients, would you rather uh, have regrets that you didn't put in your best offer to begin with? Uh, I mean, really, I don't want people to have regrets. Don't regret that you lost out on the opportunity. And of course, don't regret that you offered maybe too much and you didn't want, want it. So um, that's one thing I'd tell you is just, you know, make your strong offer right off the start. Ultimately, the home is gonna end up getting appraised if you're using financing. So the home has to meet a certain amount of value. Now, that takes us on to another aspect that you can do. Right now, with so many offers coming in on properties, a lot of people are actually waiving the appraisal contingent or actually saying that they will pay X number of dollars over whatever the home appraises for. So ultimately, that's something that you can do as well. As an example, let's just say that the appraisal comes in at 200,000 and you offer 220. Maybe you put 20,000 over appraised value is the most that you're willing to do. That way you end up uh, you know, being able to move forward. If not, you'd end up having to renegotiate that. And oftentimes, sellers will come down. Ultimately, you don't know that one until you try it, but it is a, a good tip. See about maybe waiving the uh, appraisal contingency and just to feel comfortable about it, just put it up to a certain amount that you're willing to pay out of pocket. That way it doesn't go beyond you know what your budget is. Uh, another thing that you can do is shorten the inspection period. Here in the state of Arizona, you have got 10 days to do an inspection on a home. You can shorten that period of time. Maybe you only need seven days. Maybe you need five days. That right there shortens the amount of time that the property would be off of the market. And if for whatever reason you decide to cancel, the seller is not wasting all this time. So it again, makes your offer more appealing. Now you could also end up taking the property as is, Right now, a lot of people are doing that as well. They're willing to take on the property and it's as is in present condition. Um, so you could put that in there as well. Ultimately, you still have that inspection period where you can discover if the home is in sufficient condition that is acceptable to you or if it's you know a money pit or potentially too much uh, that you're willing to take on. So these right here are some tips that you can do, some things that you can consider that are proven strategies that could put your offer uh, as being more appealing than other offers out there. So I hope you liked this video. I hope you found it beneficial. Please go ahead and like, leave your comments. Don't forget to subscribe. I truly appreciate it. Thank you. See you on the next video.